welcome back. I've missed you. Let's get ready for our journey together. Grab a glass of water and maybe a nice hot cup of tea or hot chocolate. Anything that makes you feel cozy. Light your favorite candle or diffuse your favorite oils. Anything that makes you happy and feel at peace. You may get a little chilly as your body relaxes. So, grab a light blanket before we begin if you'd like. Find a place that is safe and not too bright to recline or lie down. Now, let's relax. First, let's breathe in deep. That's right, all the way down to your belly, as deep as you can. One. And exhale. And again, in. One, two, three, four. And out. Keep breathing. muscles fall. Unclench your jaw. Move it around a bit. You're holding so much tension there. Now, slowly move your head back and forth. Get those pops and cracks out. Settle back down to the center and let your head sink into that cushion. Let's do the same with your tired shoulders. You carry the weight of the world on those things. Give them a break. Scrunch them up and down a bit just to get all those kinks worked out. Remember to keep breathing deeply. In. And out. You can see the stress leaving your body with each exhale. Now, down to your hips. Wiggle them a bit. Let your lower back relax and your hips relax. Now, I want you to point your toes straight up as if your feet were flat against something. Stretch your calves a bit. Now. Point your toes out. Yep, just like a ballerina. Now, let your legs relax. Keep breathing. We are going to practice some non sexual intimacy to get you even further into a meditative state. Now, take your fingertips and I want you to lightly touch different parts of your body. Fan them out then bring them together on your thighs, your hips, your stomach, your chest, your arms. I will give you a few moments to get acquainted with yourself.
now, lightly trace your face, get to know you, become familiar with your own body, don't be a stranger to yourself, and let this be a reminder that you are here, and you are loved, and you are beautiful. I love you, and I want you to love you as much as I do. Now, rest your arms at your sides, re-relax those shoulders. Are you ready? Let's go. We've come to the beach for a day of relaxation. It's a bit dreary for a beach trip. A week's worth of storms are expected to pass through beginning any day now. But that just means that there is no one around. No one but you and me. The sand is cool to the touch and the waves rush in then retreat out in a hypnotizing rhythm. You are wrapped in a warm blanket and you notice that a lighthouse looms in the distance. The wind rushes past us and it's beginning to get a little chilly. You pull your blanket tighter around you that reminds me, have I ever told you that the lighthouse is haunted? No? Well, I know how much you love thrills and chills, so I'll tell you. Many, many years ago, a young woman was desperately missing her lover, who was a sailor. His ship was Weeks past its due, it was soon the consensus of the town folks that it must have been tragically lost. The young woman, upon hearing this, became absolutely frantic at the thought of losing her love. In desperation, she ran to the yet unfinished lighthouse to watch for his ship from the top. She snuck past the workmen who were leaving before the weather got worse into the lighthouse and up the stairs. Little did she know, the workmen had had trouble recently with supplies being stolen. So, they fitted the door to lock from the outside. Sure enough, as they thought, a storm blew in, the same storm that had knocked her lover's ship off course. The weather was biblical winds and flash floods. So, the workmen weren't able to return to the lighthouse for over two weeks. You can imagine what they found. I don't want to be too grotesque. It is our beach day, after all. They say you can hear the woman's voice and song when the weather turns. Which, it seems like, is going to happen sooner than we thought. It's too bad. We drove all this way. We could go poke around the lighthouse. Of course, they didn't leave the same lock on the door. It probably is locked, though, but maybe we can hear her song from the outside. <laughs> I knew you'd be too intrigued not to. Let's go. Stop. Do you hear that? It's her. And look. The door is open. Let's get out of this mess. Don't worry, we'll leave the door open. It's so cold 
in here. It looks like they probably gutted it a long time ago. That's such a pity. I was hoping to see some old furniture. Something. It doesn't sound like we're alone. Really? If you insist, sure, we can... We can go up the stairs. The hairs on the backs of my arms are raising up. It's so cold in here. Can you feel the cold? Brush your face as if with long and delicate fingers. It's getting so dark in here. We won't be able to see at all soon. Maybe we should go back down. Okay, well, let's take a peek up there together then. Then we'll go. It's so cold and I don't want to be in here anymore. Can you stop breathing so loud? It's freaking me out. It's not you. Fine. But then we have to go. On the count of three, let's poke our heads up over the landing. One. Two. Three. towards us. I feel like I can't move. Tell her to move on. Tell her it's okay to leave this place and move on. Run! The door is still open. We can... No. No. days. They probably won't find us for weeks. And we're trapped with 